Welcome one and all and persons and everybody and you to Let's Talk, a show about talking about games and everything surrounding them and everything that's games related and games and games, games, games. So, without further ramblings, let's talk. Episodic Games. So, what are episodic games? They're basically games that um, are in episodes, like a TV series. We love them, and this is not read off a script. So there's a few different ways to do episodic games. One way, you can do the Telltale way, which is pretty much the correct way, or, or don't nod uh, with Life is Strange. Or you can do the Capcom way with Resident Evil Revelations 2, which was quite literally taking the full game and going... Let's chop this up into different parts. And it just made a very inconsistent narrative. That was a terrible, terrible way of doing it. Yeah, but the correct way, well, not the correct way, but the, probably what, one of the, the best ways is, um, yeah, so the way Telltale Don't Nod did it, which basically each episode has its own narrative. It has its own beginning, middle, and end. It's, it's opening act, it's middle act, and it's closing act. With the extension of also, you know, have 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 the consistent narrative throughout the whole, the whole maybe five six episodes, however long they they decide to make it. Then we've got the recent news, recent relatively recent of um, Hitman, the the new Hitman, which they've just decided to call Hitman because naming conventions are apparently useless. So, meh. but anyway, Hitman. Square Enix have decided to officially make the game episodic, which, I mean, people disagree with, people agree with, but I'm just going to talk about why I think it works with Hitman, and obviously there are some counterpoints, but, you know, I'm just going to talk about why I think it works with Hitman, and then, in a later episode, I will talk about my experience with Life is Strange. This is going to be like a two-part episodic thing. Part one, Hitman. Hitman, so for those who don't know, Hitman is a game where you play as an assassin. I mean, with the name Hitman, you would expect nothing less. But you are a genetically engineered assassin who is basically bred just for that purpose. There's the iconic, and iconic used in the correct way, Ubisoft, iconic tattoo on the back of his head, which is his number designation. So... The character you play as is Agent 47, with the handler called Diana. She gives you missions and things like that. So, the game's structure, for me, is already episodic. It's, it's, it's structured the way, the way it's built. Even though it's a full-priced game and you just buy $60 or 40 quid or whatever and you've got the entire game, for me it's episodic, with the exception of Absolution, Hitman Absolution. With that being said... With it already feeling episodic, why does it feel episodic? So why why does Hitman, just the series in general, feel episodic? Basically, you get given a mission, you complete the mission, and then there's a little bit of story during that mission. It's not so much story as in, here is the story, we will give you story, story cutscene meh, cutscene ending mission. That was quite a good song um so so yeah the the story's given more kind of in between the missions it's in the briefings uh, you find links between all of all of the uh, the the people you're given to assassinate yeah basically that that's that's why so it's already it's its structure is already very episodic the exception being absolution because one very important point absolution was closer to splinter cell style stealth action game where you would proceed through much more linear and smaller environments and you would be given story along the way you'd you'd get you know you'd go to so for example the chinatown mission before the chinatown mission you had four or five little areas before to then make it and some of them were quite literally straight paths that there were maybe two three guards in and you just walk around them and go to a gate like that sort of thing which Absolution wouldn't work as episodic, and hopefully the new Hitman 
him and 2016 isn't like Absolution in that way, because otherwise the episod- episodic system wouldn't work. Episodic games, they, they work because each episode has its beginning, middle, and end. That's, that just kind of creates, you know, a, a nice flowing story. Each episode works on its own as well as overall, um, with the, the narrative going through each episode. And for me, my the, the, the fear that people have with Hitman is that it won't have that consistent narrative. It will just be a game that's chopped up. Because that's what it felt like. I mean, originally, the game was announced as you you buy the game, you buy the full game, but you only get the first two missions. Then the rest are added later. So it's episodic, but you bu- you can only buy into it straight away. It was then later said, oh no, wait, you, you have all the missions, you have all the content, you buy the game and, and you have everything. Then they changed that again by by saying it's now fully episodic. So you, you, you buy a £20 starter pack whatever twenty dollars starter pack in inverted commas pack and then you get the first two missions or the first mission whatever it is and then you can buy the rest the the other episodes um as they come out or you can pay whatever it is fifty fifty dollars forty dollars thirty pound fifty pound whatever the the price is you can pay the overall cost which is the normal standard pricing model you'll see with telltale or life is strange so going back to hitman if you take blood money which is most people's, um, most Hitman fans' favourite Hitman. If you take Blood Money, you see that even the first mission, people kept replaying that mission over and over and over and over. They wanted to perfect that mission before they'd move on to the next one. Not completing that mission wouldn't have affected the story overall. You'd be able to pick up things. If you just jump into a random mission in Hitman, you can complete it without knowing any of the background. Everything makes sense because it's a self-contained box. It's, it's essentially each mission is a sandbox. Take the first three missions of Blood Money. You start off in the, the, the carnival and you complete that however you want. You, you poison, you stab, you whatever. You then go to the next mission and it's the same thing. Just less hand-holding because the, the first mission is obviously tutorial. So you, you go through that, you complete it, but you didn't need to know what happened in the previous mission to understand the next mission. Maybe 12 missions, you, you split the game up into 12 missions. That's effectively 12 episodes that could exist, as long as it's not the style of absolution. If it's blood money, then it will work. I believe the episodic will work, because the narrative is an overall thing. It doesn't cut short anywhere. There's maybe one or two cutscenes, but they can be used as cliffhangers. In retrospect, would Blood Money make a good episodic game? Play through Blood Money, which is still brilliant. Play through it and see, could they cut here? Could they cut here? Could they cut here? There were very few moments in Blood Money that wouldn't make sense in an episodic narrative. I'm, I'm excited for, for Hitman being, um, being episodic. Even even with Jim Sterling talking about you know Square Enix not knowing what they want to do, uh, making rash de- rash decisions, um, all all of this sort of stuff that yeah does does look bad, but at the same time maybe it does need a rash decision to make make something good. Last minute decisions do come out okay. It's, I've tried this, people don't like it, I've tried this, people don't like it, the Deus Ex Human Revolution pre-order stuff, people didn't like that. So maybe they're trying something new, they're going, oh well, Episodic worked with Life is Strange, which is also Square Enix published, maybe it will work with this. It's worth trying, I mean, at least a company is trying new things. It's, it's, It's nice seeing a company, even if they are panicking and not knowing what's happening, that they are trying something new and different. So thanks for watching, comment your thoughts and like and subscribe because that's the thing YouTubers say, right? I don't know. Do whatever you want. Give me hate. It'll be nice. I don't have any haters. I want some haters. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay lovely.